don't know why there's this gap between like dating exclusively and boyfriend and girlfriend. It's like people are really scared of this boyfriend and girlfriend word. Any black couple that's together, it's everyone's like... to break every generational curse. It's Listen, you. there, there and then. You are the black love that's gonna do it. Hi, I'm Tony Mack, director, filmmaker, and storyteller. Amongst my peers, the narratives around dating have felt really toxic and negative of late. So I wanted to create a space to have fun, honest, and grounded conversations. It's time to change the story. This is Day in Black. Are you single, dating, in a committed relationship, or is it complicated? I am single. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Do you want to go first? I'm not single. So. <laughs> I think you should. Well, I've got a boyfriend. I'm in a relationship. Oh. Yeah. I'm single. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you want to elaborate on that? I am single. Mm. And, um, yeah, no, I'm single, yeah. <laughs> I was expecting to hear, yeah. And a situation ship, maybe. Uh. <laughs> I am single. Okay. I am in a committed relationship. Yeah. Mm. Um, I'm single, very single. I'm in a committed relationship. Mm. I like that, like the sh strength yeah. of that word, committed. You know what I mean? Love that. Everyone's committed. No, it's true, not everybody's committed. It's true. People in relationships, some people, so no and they're just doing anyhow, anyhow. Well, some people call that an open one, an open relationship. That's true. But it's but only it's an open relationship with both people now. How does it feel? Hey, it is what it is. <laughs> I am dating. Yeah, it's good. It's great. It is lovely. There's a consistency there. Do you know what I mean? That's different from when you're single. Every day is like a, who knows what I'm getting? And also, I'm always on like the edge of a cliff. Because you never know. One conversation is done. Um, I'm married. It wasn't one of the options, so. Oh, yeah. I was well, wondering. Committed, in my head, I was thinking, yeah, committed relationship, <laughs> married, slash married. I feel like I've been dating for a long time. <laughs> and, you know, you kind of get used to the motion. Yeah. But then, obviously, when you you obviously date and then you meet people that you like and yeah. you potentially think, okay, yeah, like, this person I can be with or this person actually I'll take quite seriously. And then it goes left. Yeah. And then you just think, right, <laughs> I'm back to square one. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my life at the minute. Marriage is sweet. Marriage is sweet. Yeah. Well, <laughs> dating, um, do you know what? It's actually been really, it's been really good. Um, it's been quite fun, um, scarily fun. I'm not really used to like dating someone and it being fun. I'm always waiting for drama or waiting for the penny to drop. A lot of people feel like they need to be X, Y, Z before they can be in a relationship. And I think that's very much like what the, you mean? oh, I need to have all my things together before mm. I can like explore. You know when people are like, oh, you need to love yourself before you can love someone else? Yeah. I don't necessarily- No, I don't agree with agree that. Agree with that the whole way. Describe dating black in the UK right now with one word. So ghetto. The ghetto. Wow. Hard. <laughs> Hard. I was just say interesting. I'm gonna say tiring to start with. It's a Russian roulette kind of thing. Yeah. Like you just never know where linking with one person's gonna lead you in your life yeah. and six months down the line, you're stressed, you've put on two stone and you're not quite sure where the last six months of your life has gone and it will just end like that. Like I'm, and then like you're back on this ride again and doing it with somebody else. Pilgrimage. And I say that because um, it's like a journey. You don't know where you're gonna end up half the time. You're just going and trying and going <laughs> sometimes. It's not easy. Chaotic. Oh, that's a good word. Chaotic. We say that all the time. Imbalanced. Just sorry, it doesn't feel like anyone knows what they're doing. Mm. I feel like people think they know what they're doing, but we mm. don't really know. I feel like it's just complicated. I think, I don't know why there's this gap between like dating exclusively and boyfriend and girlfriend. It's like people are really scared of this boyfriend and girlfriend word. Mm but then dating exclusively is kind of like boyfriend and girlfriend. So it's like just complicated. I think it's so complicated, yeah, because it's like, um, there's just bare rules that you don't know are rules. Then on top of that, you've got the whole like black love existential crisis. So, right. so any black couple that's together, it's everyone's you to like- break every generational curse. It's listen, you. There, there and then. You are the black love that's gonna do it. You're gonna <laughs> fix everything. Exactly. Are you gonna fix us, Brazil? Who, me? Yeah. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. <laughs> Do you like, feel like there's a disconnect between black men and black women in the UK when it comes to dating? Because there's bare single men and single women. Mm. They're like, I can't find nobody, but I'm mm. like, they're just all single. So what's, yeah. <laughs> what's going on? I think yeah. different stages, different Definitely. stages, and people want different things. Mm -hmm. 
and people don't necessarily always date the people that want the same things as them. Mm. They try and remould mm. others when you could just go date someone that someone wants something else, that yeah. you want. I think there's a big disconnect of what men think women want and what women think men want. I think a lot of men think women want this alpha protector, guy that can provide with the most money, do everything for you. And in reality, some women just want a guy who's got emotional intelligence. When you get to a certain space where you like, you kind of know what you want to like become and type of person you want to date, you kind of know like the kind of life you want to live, mm -hmm. it becomes harder because I feel like the pool becomes smaller. Women think men want this kind of like figure of a woman who's got this body or who's got this certain type of presence when sometimes men just want women who will just be there for them emotionally as well. I do think that like, you know, the image of like a woman, what I guess me and my friends would describe as a bad bee. Like, I do think men do want that up to a point. Mm -hmm. And then when they get to an age where they feel like they are ready to settle down, yeah. then they're like, oh, OK, it's not necessarily about chasing someone who, you know, is a Instagram buddy, but someone who's like, I guess, more wholesome, someone that I can take home to my parents and be a wife. When we say bad B, we mean the trend in woman, basically. Because I think it's evolved over the years from the baddie that was Mar also Marilyn Monroe, you know, mm. to the baddie today of the baddies on Instagram. Like, mm. it's just about that trend in women that men think that they want, but don't necessarily know if they want them. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with being a baddie. Like, I, if, Absolute, yo. if I wasn't a founder, I'd be a baddie. Like, I always say that. <laughs> Why do you know what I mean? Both? I now, feel like you're both. It's a lot of work, do you know what I mean? It's a lot of work to be a bad lot of money. Upkeep. Yeah, buddy. upkeep. That's like, the I word. barely put my wig upkeep. on. I barely comb my wig. Do you know you what I mean? You've got to be doing your nails frequently. Yeah. You've got to be lashes. You can't be like waiting to the end of the <laughs> period oh, for them. I think sometimes some of the issues that we see on social media just don't correlate to the things we experience in real life. Mm -hmm. Me personally, um, especially with black men nowadays, I feel like a lot of them are trying to understand the black women's perspective and, you know, the same way as we're trying to understand what goes on with them. So around me, I have more men who are trying to understand, trying to kind of work together and all that kind of stuff. So the stuff I see on social media just isn't reflected in my immediate surroundings. What would an ideal date be? What would an ideal date yeah, for me? For like with industry. Industry. Um, I heard that people get flown out to like Paris for like a day or two just so we can have dinner. I like talking to people. I feel like we're both Yeah, we're talkers. both, we're like big yeah, talkers, yeah. So, and I don't necessarily like dinner dates. I want to go for a walk, I would yeah. say, like a, like a picnic or, or an a activity. Walk. Yeah. Something that I can get to know you Maybe and Maybe nothing like crazy activity-wise, though. So you go for a picnic? Yeah, I'll go for a picnic. I'll do I, think a picnic. I, I think that'll be really cute. But I don't think I'd date men that would do picnics. I would like <laughs> a man not to do it, but to hear that I want to do it and like try to, you know, yeah. make it happen, yeah. I would even love the fact that he'd be a bit awkward around it. Really? I think that'd be really cute, yeah. Are you okay? Absolutely. She was like, I want him to feel like he's <laughs> Do you not think time. so? No, but think about it. Like, no. If, he, if he's doing it just because you want to do it, because he's, he, I'm you're not like that. What? You don't like the fact that man I want to do what you want to do. literally that we want to do on the first day. I know, do what I want to do personally. <laughs> yeah, you're very like that though. You're like, no, it's no. the woman show. Let's <laughs> That's okay. I don't think there's anything. I don't think so. Not like that. Like when you're dating, you definitely like yeah, men I'm very, to be like. Yeah, I'm very direct about what I yeah. want, and I would want you to kind of not necessarily do exactly what I want. I would just want you to be Make aware of effort. my character yeah. and like want to actually better suit me if you can. Yes. I guess. Yeah. For those of you that are, or for you that is out of the jungle, what's your advice for us that are trying to get out of the jungle? <laughs> This is another reason why these things are hard, yeah, because I'll say it now. <laughs> then the next one you come and do, you'll say, so how's the everyone's sequel? status? I'll be like, yeah, well, yeah. I'm back in the market. I'm back, I was there, and it, do you know what I mean? God forbid, but do you know what I mean? That's yeah. why it's even hard, because you can't even talk too much. Mine is women just not fearing rejection. Mm. I'm very big on, like, approaching a guy if I like you. Mm. I might not come up to you directly and grab you, you know, but I will give you, like, one, two looks, and if you're still not getting that, I might have to tap you on the shoulder. Mm. Like, I'm very big on, if I'm, if I'm interested in you, I need mm. you to know, and we can go from there. And I don't fear that thing of, like, a guy turn around to me and telling me, oh yeah, I'm not interested, I don't, okay, next. That you actually Like, okay. I will find somebody next Yeah, you actually will go again. Yeah. Like, we'll go again. Like, people think, oh, just because you're married, like, you know, you're, you don't really know, like, what's going on or how it feels. I know exactly how it feels. Yeah. I've been single longer than I've been in a relationship, so that's married. But I know what the streets are like, though. That's okay. the thing. Like, you graduated. I, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> Everything that you think you need from a person, it's probably, you're probably right. You got know what I'm saying? But 
you're not gonna, if you don't see that in front of you, don't feel like you've got to take it. There's someone out there that literally is in sync with you. I was single for a long time, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I was single for a really long time. And someone was <laughs> like, look, like, the person you're looking for is on the other side of your type. Ooh. And that literally changed everything for me, yeah. Because yeah, I think a lot of people are so attached to their type. Their type. Your type is pretty boy. Yeah. <laughs> like, my, like she with no like, brain cells, like, no disrespect to anyone, but literally, like, <laughs> pretty, but not much substance. Yeah. People wanting something with their eyes, but it's like the energy or their spirit isn't aligned, and you're just fighting that because you're like, oh, this person looks pain, but my spirit ain't feeling it, but I'm still here because it seems like something I want. Or even vice versa, you might be like, oh, this is the person I want, but because they don't look a certain way, I'm not going to I can't it. have it, yeah. I can't I have can't it, or what it. am I going to tell my friends? Yeah. Like, yeah, how do I explain to everybody his hairline and all that Especially, stuff? Yeah, and, and that's your person. That's actually your personal but person. But most, most of the times, because you're online, mm. telling the world that right. if she hasn't got one head, four eyes, seven, <laughs> that she can't, she's not a baddie. And you're going to bring someone baddie. with three heads in front of us and tell us not to say nothing. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> like, chance him in it. I will say to Rita, chance him. Do you want to explain what chance him means? Chance him. Is <laughs> you got to say it with the African accent, chance him. Chance him. It's just give him a chance, you know? Don't be so dismissive. Mm. Don't, you know, he does one thing wrong, you want to run. Just, you know, let him, let people make mistakes. Sometimes you have to just close your eyes to a red flag and continue with caution. Perhaps you're focusing on the wrong thing. Yeah. Mm. Or you're prioritising the yeah, wrong Yeah, you're prioritising the yeah. wrong things. Like, um, um, literally, some of my friends will be like, oh yeah, he's this, this, and this, but this one little thing that he did, which, I would probably, oh, you can probably overlook that. They're like, no, like, that's the decider for me. Mm. Men do it as well. Yeah. Like, men will be like, oh, in the first two weeks, oh, she's everything, she's this, she's mm. that. Oh, like, she did one little thing that I didn't really like, so I can't talk to her anymore. Mm. Don't be scared to meet someone in an unconventional way. It's not about going to a restaurant and you glance over and a guy's looking at you and, you know, he comes over. Like, that chivalry stuff doesn't really happen anymore. If you only ever pick from the people that come to you. Bro, you'll be there. You're, you're literally, <laughs> you're like, no life. disrespect, but you're picking from, like... The same, yeah. yeah. But if you go after what you want, the worst yeah. thing that happens is... They'll say no. They've got a girlfriend or you're not their type. Yeah, yeah. and that's fine. That's literally OK. Do you think, like, being lonely is, like, a good enough reason to want to be in a relationship? Um, yeah, I would say yes, you know. Mm. Yes, yeah, it's companionship, isn't mm. it? I think we're, we're all created to be together, yeah, you know? Exactly. Not to be lonely, actually. Mm. So it's, it, I, think, I feel like it's a healthy desire. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's quite hard for people to even admit that. Do you know what I mean? To, like, admit that you want companionship because you feel lonely. It kind of just feels like something that's, like, a bad thing. But you're right, I don't think we're meant to, like, be by ourselves. I think... So, yeah, it feels weird even saying yeah, that out loud. Weird, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, I think that, yeah, if you are feeling... I think if you're feeling lonely, you shouldn't get into something that's obviously harmful or anything mm -hmm. like that or go for something that's bad for you. But I think, yeah, to yeah. just seek out companionship. So, have you been the toxic person in a relationship before? Never. Never? No. Would they say that? that? I was going to say, who would ever admit they're toxic? <laughs> I guess you're a villain. You're, you're a villain in someone's story, innit? Yeah, I think so. I think, like, especially, like, just going through dating. Mm -hmm. And when I say going through dating, I mean as in, like, my first boyfriend when I was, like, what, 16, 17, mm -hmm. definitely, like, <laughs> didn't really know how to be... Act what was I doing in big, big relationship at 16, 17, really? Do you yeah. know what I mean? I think yeah, I I've known you for a few years now. Yeah. And I can confidently say... <laughs> <laughs> Rita's never been a toxic one. <laughs> thank, you, thank you. Yeah, that means a lot. Yeah, because I don't... I feel like you've really put your heart on the line and you've yeah. actually really tried to make things work. Yeah. 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 You've, you've well, been good. No. You're lying. Yeah, I feel like you're lying. Um, These questions I are not guess, even open. Yeah, and just don't lie, you know? <laughs> Accountability is always on two parts. Well, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. So, yes, there are things that I could have done differently, but there's 100% things that... Mm -hmm the opposite person could have done differently as well, do you know what I mean? Yeah. If anything, I think I've been toxic to myself, if anything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I think I've always put the other person's feelings before myself, and I've always made the other person, you know, if I'm upset about something, I may not tell them I'm upset because I'm, I know what's going on in their life, and I yeah. might think to myself, oh, I'm not gonna bring this up because they're going through this or they're going through that, so maybe that's why they're doing what they're doing. I don't even let them tell me that's why they're behaving the way they're behaving. I would make that assumption that they're moving mad because something mad is going on with them. In general, my intention has never been 
bad. Mm -hmm. So that's why I wouldn't describe myself as toxic, but I've definitely had moments where it's like, oh, I would never <laughs> do that again. Do you know what I mean? Like, what? I don't think you've ever been toxic either. Oh, thanks. No. I was going to say, you can pretend the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not a toxic person. I'm not toxic. Okay. Would somebody, if we lined up your exes' <laughs> links, would they also back you on that point? 100%. Okay. Have you ever broken anyone's heart? Nah. Never? Nah. Too nice. Nah, I'm just angel. <laughs> 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 I'm just angel. Are you sure? So if you ask somebody, they'll see you. Yeah, no. Nah, because, because, because the thing is with me and guys, you know how like there'll be a guy who likes you and da 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 da? I never take it too far if I know I don't like you. Mm. We can have one date and I'm not doing this again. So if you've already fallen in love, that's your own. <laughs> What's your funniest dating story? I don't have any funny dating stories. I don't even remember dating. <laughs> <laughs> this is so embarrassing, yeah? And the person who was with, please do not speak up, there's no need. But basically, I was on, I think the person I was dating came to pick me up from like a party. Um, and he came to like pick me up in his car. Then obviously I go in the car, yeah? And then like, I was just lips in and stuff, yeah? And the next thing you know, like, I just feel a gush of wind, yeah? And then my wig fell off. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the thing is, I was drunk, so I was like, wow. And instead of me to just put, slip it back on, because you know when you're on lips in, mid lips, a lot of stuff. And your eyes are closed anyway. Yeah. 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 But then I screamed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah! And he was like, what's wrong? Then he saw, obviously, Aww. and realised. Do you know what, yeah? I actually, because this, this is hard for me to even come up with an answer because I feel like my whole dating in my 20s has been an ongoing joke. Mm -hmm. Like... Is it an ongoing joke? I think it's just been ongoing. Like, I think, like, from the guy that you actually thought that you were going out with, but it was in your head, mm -hmm. like... Because <laughs> he, he weren't going out with you. <laughs> to me, that's a joke, isn't it? Like, <laughs> and that's just ongoing. Do you know what I mean? Like, how are you dating someone and they don't know that you're dating them? I kind of started to feel a bit like a, a bit of a, a bit of a twat, a bit, a bit silly, just because I'm thinking. So, okay, cool. So you haven't been a date on this long, but you've had guys in your life. So why aren't you dating? I was really sick this time. One time, I had a cold, and I told him I had a cold. Mm -hmm. So my replies were really slow. We we're meant to meet up the next week. So obviously it was Wednesday. We meant to meet up on Thursday. I was like, oh yeah. Are we still gonna meet up? He was all like, nah, man, um, I don't think we're gonna do that anymore. I was like, why? He goes, yeah, your replies were slow. I was like, I was sick. And he goes, yeah, but you know, I just gotta respect myself. I was like, <laughs> what? Oh. There's this guy that went to my uni mm -hmm. and we left uni mm -hmm. and he started talking to me. And I was like, oh, hey, like, didn't think anything, and I'm quite like a friendly person, yeah. so I don't all you have to make it very clear to me that yeah. you're into me, otherwise, I just think you're cool. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And then, um, anyway, he made it clear that, oh, yeah, I want to take you on a date. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, sick, okay, cool, like we can do that. Mm -hmm. Got ready, was ready, whatever. Then I just didn't hear from him. Oh, wow, you just yeah. disappeared like that day. <laughs> and like, then what happened after? Like, I just didn't, no, I just didn't, that's what I mean. <laughs> like, <laughs> We were talking up until like maybe really? about an hour, an hour and a half. Huh? So you never like bumped into him or anything like that? N nothing. I was so like huh? confused. Were you dressed up at that point? I was, <laughs> like, I was ready to face. come at my house. What do you mean? What? Like, and I just didn't hear from him ever again. And you guys know about my like lunchtime dates. If I'm not all the way sold on people, I try to be economical with my time. So it's like, uh, link me near my office during my lunch break, and I'm purposely not gonna bring like my stuff, and I'll roll up like just me as I am, and it's just a case of like, well, would you look at that? I've got a meeting to get back to, and we can wrap it up. So where is the romance in that? I think it's treated it like a business meeting. Flog me, why don't you? No, I've, but why would you? You came here like... to tear my singlets. <laughs> I hope you're happy. Men in general, we're living life in this dating scene. Let me not lie. I don't want to say commitment's scary, but it challenges you. Are you ready for that type of challenge? It's all love. 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 It's all love.